Hey, we are back for another unboxing. 23, 24? I think 24. That's my guess. We'll see who's right. Uh, I'm Eliza. Amber. And we're here with just a whole big box of kids' books. Uh, Want to start? Yeah. So, Pete the Cat, the Pete's Go Marching. <laughs> so, if you're into these books, we have a ton of them here. Kids love them. I think it's the colors. Yeah. Uh, we have two replacement copies of older books, Fudge Mania and uh, Super Fudge, which I know I read when I was a kid, and mm -hmm. I really like these new fun covers. Stink, Hamlet, and Cheese. And this is just like a beginner chapter book. <laughs> Baby Monkey, Private Eye. Oh, cool. This is like a picture storybook. It's sort of like a hybrid it's between deceiving. a picture book and a, a book book. And um, I don't know. I actually really like books like this, like thicker, more in-depth books that have a lot of pictures because my kids are at a really good age for that right now. They're five and seven. Um, five Kingdoms Time Jumpers by Brandon Mull. I'm assuming, yeah, this is part of a Five Kingdoms series. So. And we actually have an, another Brandon Mull. I think he maybe has two different series, and this is part of his Fable Haven series. So if you like Brandon Mull, this is a really good one. Uh, the Mad Wolf's Daughter by Dan, Diane Magros. Okay, I I really like that co co uh, that title, and I like the cover. The I like Mad the Mad Wolf's Daughter. Mad Wolf's Daughter. Yeah, it looks like fantasy and maybe something. Huh. A little spooky. Mad Wolf of the North. Yeah, I like how tough she looks on the cover. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. Oh my goodness! Little Wolf's First Howling. That looks super cute. I feel like we've seen this book before. Maybe it's one that you had checked out from another library sometimes and yes, scouts other libraries and lets me know if she sees anything good. So. Yeah, I think we've read this one. It's cute. <laughs> it's, it's good for like if you like reading sound effects when you do a story. <laughs> Uh, speak. There are a lot of like wolves. What's going on with all the wolf books? This is like the third one, Wolf in the Snow. We're all going savage. <laughs> and this one, the Caldecott Medal, which is hard to do. It is hard to do. <laughs> so looks good. And I know we're trying not to think about snow anymore, but yeah. just one more. Mm -hmm. I'm a duck. This is another really cute looking picture book. Oh, uh, my it looks kind of, oh Eve Bunting. Oh yeah. By it looks like something that Eve Bunting would write, if that makes sense. <laughs> this looks like a nice, easy That read. looks like a good story for kids. Yeah. Um, another picture book that looks kind of like old schooly, All the Animals Where I Live. Is that, um, oh yeah, Philip Seastie. He's it's a really beautiful storyteller. Oh, and the illustrations are really nice. The Grand Canyon by Jason Chin. I can see kids getting really excited about this. The Grand Canyon is such a, a cool concept. Is this uh, a fiction? I think it's oh, like okay. a non-fiction picture book about the Grand Canyon. And it won, it's a Caldecott Honor book. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! Very nice. That is amazing. I've never been to the Grand Canyon. I think if I read this, I'm going to really want to go. Uh, out of the Out of the Wild Night, a ghost story by Blue Balliet. She wrote Chasing the Mirror. She does these sort of like puzzly mystery type books mm -hmm. for kid for kids. The Two Much Sisters. You can see the picture on the back. I think it's about two sisters who have too much stuff. But their names are probably much. And their right? names are much. Yeah. Oh, look, there they are as little girls. And I think they grow up and they don't want to get rid of stuff. Um, that seems like a good theme for a kids' books because I know that kids have a lot of too trouble, much stuff. A lot of trouble getting rid of stuff. Uh, the Serpent's Secret, Kieran Mala and the Kingdom Beyond. This looks really cool. Yeah. Wow. Wait, so this the, looks so the <laughs> monster eating the barcode. That looks really great. <laughs> Whoever did that, that was great. 
Um, Island Board by Juno Diaz. We actually read one of his adult books. He writes like novels and short oh, yeah. stories. We did one for book club and it was great. Um, and I think this is about a little girl who um, is, lives in New York but moves from an island when she was a little girl and she decides to learn about the island where she came from. So she doesn't really remember it. I like the illustrations. Uh, we have Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson, a Newbery Honor book. And um, so, looks like sort of realistic okay. s s uh, fiction about a girl trying to maybe get out of a bad neighborhood and be a success. It's funny that it's kids. The, the summary sounds a little bit more like teens, but maybe we'll just double check that. Yeah. It says it explores issues of race, privilege, and relationships. Oh, I guess that's important for kids, too. <laughs> Anyways, the tiger in the garden. This looks silly. Uh, this does look silly. Oh, look, it's about a girl who's bored and goes out into her yard to have adventures. That's what I always want my Tigers. kids to do. Uh, oh, this looks so fun. Hello, Hello by Brendan Wenzel. I really love the, the illustrations. See, the more you know. I'm like, look at these end papers. <gasps> that looks gorgeous. so cool. Wow. I'm really loving it. Oh, there's like, oh, it's like Hello Pattern, Hello Pose, and it just has like a couple words a page. I feel like we're going to have to fight for this one. <laughs> Okay, the very last one, The Marvelous Magic of Miss Maple, um, part of the Power of Poppy Pendle series by local author Natasha Lowe. So, fun chapter books. That's it. Nothing left. All done. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next time.